out here. I'm not sure if you can hear me, but it's uh, very, very noisy with the engines. Pretty cool. This ship built by Inket in Tasmania is incredible. Uh, it has a length overall of 100 metres, a moulded beam of 26 0.6 meters and a maximum dead weight of 760 tons. Even at that weight, this ship can do in excess of 40 knots. It's incredible. Buku Reef draws its power from a quartet of engines that have a combined output of more than 29,000 kilowatts. The engines drive four water jets housed in aluminium and the water jets also feature thrust vectoring to enable the vessel to maneuver within its own length, thereby making it easier for the crew to dock and undock and to sail in narrow or congested waters. Amazing. Wow, so there's, there's uh, Venezuela. That little island would be Venezuela as well? Oh, no, 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 yeah. Oh, no, that's Indian waters. Wow, so close. Yeah, so close, yeah. Can you help us? Yeah. Let's go to the right now. Oh, wow, well, that's cool. The first time this happened to me was looking across from Thailand to Myanmar or Burma and as a Kiwi slash Australian it always feels bizarre to me to be so close to two countries at the same time. Well there's a bit of swell. just asked if I can uh, go up to the bridge and they've told me yes that's possible they're going to come and get me when they're ready so I hope that happens that would be very cool how good is this we're on the Buku Reef in Trinidad on our way to Tobago the captain has kindly let me come up into the bridge so if you recall, I saw this leave Tasmania about two years ago. So cool. You can't operate the boat from inside. You, you can operate only the engines. All oh, right. And then with this wheel, you steer the, the ah, boat. Okay. Now we, we have a joystick, mm -hmm. which is for steering, port and starboard. Mm -hmm. And then this is uh, very similar to... Oh, is this know, autopilot, is it? Uh, that's Varsila. Uh, the what, sorry? Varsila system. Varsila. Yeah, it's very similar to this old one, Kameva, if you know that. That no. Kameva was very famous. In all the uh, boats in the beginning, they were uh, using this Kameva steering mm. uh, system. Mm -hmm. So what is that? You have one uh, lever, one handle for the port jets mm -hmm. and one lever for the starboard jets mm -hmm. so from here you can move port jets ahead the stern left right mm -hmm. same is with the starboard jet so depending on the combination of uh, positions of the jets you can do sideways uh, ahead the stern, oh really turning the boat literally yeah. properly sideways yes wow we don't have bow thruster we, yeah, we okay. use only the jets wow. aft jets so uh, that's the first boat with this system from Incat. Okay. So the all the other they had that wheel and that joystick and not for for uh, steering mm -hmm. and for maneuvering. So that.
that's very similar to this what they put on Austal. They have Austal, they use this Kameva. Mm -hmm. Now it's okay. Kongsberg before was Rolls Royce, right. before was uh, Kameva. Right. <laughs> you know that yeah, yeah. Uh, company, some companies are getting bigger and bigger, so they absorb. So Austal, is that Australian? Yes. Yeah, also. but they're built overseas though, aren't they? In Australia at the moment, they produce only the Navy boats ah, for the Navy. Okay. And they have two plants. Mm -hmm. One is in Philippines yep. and the other one is in Vietnam. Okay. So these two plants are producing the commercial boats. Right. So that uh, Austal APT James was built in Vietnam. Ah, okay. Mm. Yeah. First uh, year we had this uh, warranty engineer from Austal and we were talking about Incat boats and they said this guy, uh, you know, the owner of Incat is very smart. So oh yeah, he's a smart know. dude, yeah. No, he did well, but I think he's uh, he's handed over the control to his son now. Yeah, most probably. Yeah, yeah. So. Wow, look at this rain. It is heavy. see Tobago up ahead there. Maybe another half hour before we arrive. There's a bit of swell today and the uh, the captain was telling me that the sensors for these stabilizers are not working. So we have been pitching quite a bit. I'm sure there's a few people on board feeling a bit seasick. I'm actually feeling not terribly, but a little bit queasy. But it's been a cool trip so far. Currently doing about 40 knots. Oh, there we go, that's pitching right now. Not sure if you can see it there. It's pitching quite a lot. There's Tobago. Almost there, probably another 15 minutes. So here we are coming up to Port of, Sp Port of Spain, Scarborough, in uh, Tobago. So we are coming into Scarborough now. It's been a pretty pleasant trip especially being able to go up into the bridge, which killed quite a bit of time. I was probably up there, I don't know, at least a half an hour. You go, it's pretty sheltered in here. This manoeuvring is done apparently according to the captain with just the two jets. They don't have any bow thrusters. I can't remember the name of the system, but it's um, obviously quite sophisticated. Basila system. Basila. Yeah. They can manoeuvre this thing very, very well. Just with the two jets. So from here you can move four jets ahead, the stern left right mm -hmm. same is with the starboard jet so depending on the combination of uh, positions of the jets you can do sideways uh, ahead as oh, really turning the boat literally yeah. properly sideways yes wow see that? What if we get to see how big those lines are? Big obviously. So we are here 
We are here in Scarborough, in Tobago. There we go, there's the lines. Oh, they're not as big as I thought they'd be, actually. They just go into a hook. Oh, there's a second one up there. Okay, we must ease back on them. Oh no, they're tightening them up now. That's interesting. I'm not sure what they use for um, fenders. There are some tyres right at the end there, so I'm assuming this is lined with tyres. I didn't notice it before on the on the video, but maybe that's what it is. Maybe they're tyres, just a bunch of tyres. <coughs> Sure you can see that one, the front one's starting to tighten up now as well. And then we must just slowly Yeah, we're slowly easing back. Obviously they've got to lower the lower the ramps at the back to get the cars off. Anyway, we're here. Bit of rain. So here we are in Scarborough, Tobago. We've just got off the Buku Reef, which was very cool. I've been to the hospital and uh, now I am on my way back to the ferry terminal. And you can see Puka Reef back down there again. That's where I'm here. By the time I get there, it should be just in time almost to board. I would say. It's been raining a bit. But now it's, uh, it's cleared up just enough, just in time for me to walk back from the hospital. So that a really nice, uh, nice stroll. Why wouldn't you walk? Why wouldn't you walk when you've got this to walk alongside? 